Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix you are having trouble with Rainbow Six Siege X is not launching or stuck on mini loading screen whenever you are trying to launch the game. So whenever you are trying to launch the game on the Steam you end up in this issue. So we are going to talk about how we can fix this. First one is all about we need to close the Ubisoft Connect, the close the game exe or any game related exe in the task manager and try launch the game multiple times. Now first close the Ubisoft if you have already launched it then you have to go within the task manager right click and go to task manager. Now from here you have to expand this and make sure anything related to the game is not here. If you find any exe files related to for example Rainbow Six Siege is running right click and go for end the task. If you find Ubisoft is running here select it and go for end the task and remove whatever that is related to the game should be completely removed from here. Now we have to close this and check with the game. Next one, we need to verify the game file. That is an important step, which will take a bit of time. So just go over here, right click on the game, go to the properties, go to installed file and verify the game file. This is going to take a lot of time because you know, uh, hence the game is around 57 GB. It will take a bit of time, but even though it worth a lot. So we have to wait for this to completely done because if any files are corrupted, if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So it is very important. Next one is all about we have to go to the third step that is we have to copy the game exe from the game installation folder and we have to paste it in this location. So go over here in the game steam right click and go to the manage browse local file. Now from here you have to expand this and if you scroll down here you will be able to find the game exe file keep scrolling down. Now if you scroll down a little bit of time you will be able to find the exe file so just copy this file from here navigate to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 sorry you have to go over here navigate to users go to your username folder then go to app data if you don't find app data here just view and make sure click on the show and you have to put a check on hidden items if it is not you'll not be able to find the app data so as you can see i don't find the app data go to the view go to show icon then put a check on hidden items now the app data is visible select this now from here navigate to local, scroll down and navigate to Ubisoft game launcher. You will be having the folder Ubisoft game launcher. Within this you have to paste it. After pasting you have to check with the game. Next step we need to install the latest version of Ubisoft Connect. So if you are already having the Ubisoft just go over here search for the Ubisoft. Sorry go to settings, go to apps, go to installer apps. Now over here at the top you have to search here for Ubisoft Connect. So if you find Ubisoft Connect, click three click on it and go to uninstall. Now after uninstalling, just go back. Now over here, you have to search for Ubisoft Connect. Download it. So go over here, search for it. Now get into the Ubisoft official website inside this. Now from here, you have to download the latest versions of the graphics card. That's very important. You have to download this latest version of the graphics card. Sorry, I'm saying not graphics card. Sorry, you have to download the latest version of Ubisoft Connect then you have to check. Next one, we need to log out from the Ubisoft Connect and to exit the Ubisoft Connect. So if you have already signed in with the Ubisoft Connect, for example, in my case, I have already signed out it in order to check it. So if I try to launch it once again, it might ask you to sign in. Now I have already signed out. So to the users who are watching this, if you have already signed into your Ubisoft ticket account, you have to sign in back. So you have to sign out. Then after sign out, you have to uh, exit the Ubisoft account, then try launch the game from Steam. Then turn on or off the VPN if you're using. For example, just go over here, search for the VPN. So for me, I'm having the Proton VPN. So if you're already using any kind of VPN, just go to the VPN. And if you're already using any VPN, you have to turn it on, then check. If already VPN is using, turn off the VPN and try launch the game and you have to check. Both can be switched vice versa and you have to check. Next step is all about we need to disable the Steam overlay. Turn off all the overlay apps like Discord, settings in the NVIDIA app, close all the overlay applications and also you can uninstall it. So just go to the game, right click on the game, go to the properties. You have to turn off the Steam overlay and also go to the task manager, right click and over here you can see if you expand this up. You'll be fine. Lots of apps like Revertune, Remercy, Afterburner, etc. And all these things should be removed from here. 
or it can completely uninstall it from your device. That is also very important because overclocking applications can bring a lot of nightmare. So make sure you completely uninstall it. Next one, the Game Pass users try installing the game on Xbox app or install the game on Ubisoft Connect. So the Game Pass users can go over here on the Xbox. Then you can just launch your Xbox, sign in. Once you signed in on your Xbox, you can just go over here after signing in. You can launch the game from here. So if you're having the Xbox, just search for the Rainbow Six Siege over here. Now, if you search here for the Rainbow Six Siege, you'll be able to find it. So this is with the Game Pass. Now from here, you have to download the game and you have to check. You can play the game with the Game Pass and you have to check. Do not depend on the Steam. Next one is all about we need to uninstall and reinstall the battle eye. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to manage, browse local file. Now go to the battle eye folder. There is an option called uninstall. Select this one, right click and run it as an administrator. Go for yes. Now afterwards, install it back. That means you have to install the battle run it as an administrator. Go for yes. Then check that will be work. Next one, launch the game from the installation folder. Try running game as, a, game as an administrator. So go over here, right click, go to manage, browse local file, expand this, scroll down and navigate to the game exe file. That is very important. So go over here, keep scrolling down. Now you have to right click on the game, go to show more options, go to the properties, go to compatibility, put a check on to run this program in the compatibility mode, then put a check on disable full screen optimization. Put a check on to run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK. Once you do this, you have to check with the game. Next one is all about we need to perform a clean installation of the graphics card, which is very important. So let me copy this and just go over here in the link. So this is for the NVIDIA users. Go to this link, select everything and you have to search. Now what happens is you'll be getting the latest versions of the graphics card. Now download the latest version of the graphics card from here. Then you have to update your system. Similarly, if you're on the AMD, just go over here, select everything according to your PC's configuration. Then you have to go over here and submit. Then you have to update your graphics card as well. So these are the steps when it comes to this. And I hope this quick video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye bye.